And continuing on with our next step in the spinning earth or spinning globe series. We just finished cutting out a hole in a rectangle object and now we want to insert another picture and rearrange objects to give the illusion that we have a globe on this slide. So the first step we need to do is to insert a picture as you normally would in PowerPoint 2010. So going up to the insert tab and clicking on picture, we're going to choose that world map from the insert picture dialog box. But you can navigate to any place on your computer, depending on where you store your images. Mine's just in the downloads folder. So I'm going to choose that object or that image and click insert. And that will insert it just on top of everything else I have on the slide. Now the next thing that I want to do, since we will be animating this map later, I want to give a little more room to play around with once I'm animating the object. So I actually want to have two copies of this photo. And rather than inserting it again the way I just did, I'm just going to create a copy of this image and place it side by side. So let me zoom out of my PowerPoint canvas. And to copy it, I'm going to show you a little shortcut. With a picture selected, if you hold your control key on your keyboard down and then drag an image, that will create a copy of whatever object you have selected. If you have an image selected, it'll copy that image. If you have a shape selected, it'll copy that shape, and so on and so forth. So now that we have two copies of the image together, or side by side, I want to select both of those images and then group them together. So with the first image selected, I'm going to hold down my shift key and click on the other image. And now I can simply go up to my picture tools format tab and in the arrange group, click on the group option and then choose group. And now PowerPoint will treat those two pictures as one large picture. So now that we've added all of our images, now we want to layer them within our PowerPoint canvas. And we actually want to send this big grouped photo all the way to the back. So to do that with that picture selected, same thing from our picture tools format tab in our arrange group, we want to click the send backward button or we can even select that drop down arrow and choose the option send to back. And now we are viewing that picture through the hole in the other picture. And that is how you add and rearrange images and objects in PowerPoint 2010.